Well, that one was a squeaker. But hey, a win's a win. And a review is a review. Let's do this. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drew, better known as KQ99, and yes, I'm back with another video. And in this video, it's another KU review of Kansas basketball, as today the 5th ranked Jayhawks took on the 8th ranked Creighton Blue Jays and squeaked out of Allen Fieldhouse with a win. Uh, the final score, Kansas 73, Creighton 72. For those of you who do not know, I give positives and negatives about the game. I give a player of the game and a person who needs to improve. So without further ado, let's jump into this. So let's start out with the positives. And the positives I can see, we shot a lot better from the three-point line this game, uh, shooting 45% from downtown. Uh, we out-rebounded them 41-33, to 33, had more assists in this game, uh, more steals, less turnovers, and less fouls. And we came in clutch down the stretch. Um, yeah, it was big, and it was actually kind of cool to see that there was fans there as well, even though probably half or majority were Creighton fans. But hey, fans were allowed in. Negatives. Not shooting the ball well from inside the three-point line. We shot 39% from the for the game, letting Creighton shoot almost 50% for the game, and then fouling at the last second. Thank God he missed the third, but ooh, that could have been... A stab in the back but a win's a win in this situation so those are my positives and negatives player of the game I'm gonna give it to Jalen Wilson uh, in 32 minutes of play uh, 23 points and 10 rebounds along with one assist so good for Jalen and that's I believe his third career double-double yeah he's been doing incredibly well and he made the clutch shot to win the game but he also almost costed us the game by getting that foul. But Jalen is my player of the game. Player who needs to improve is Ochai Abaji. Uh, he did not score in this game, but he did have five rebounds, four assists, and in 24 minutes of play. Uh, he just could not get a shot to go down at all. They were guarding him left and right from everywhere, including with the double teams. Uh, he just struggled to just get a shot. So. That might be one of the games he looks back on and is like, I should have shot the ball more because he didn't take that many shots either. Uh, but he probably needs to take sh a lot more shots and get open more. So uh, that's my player who needs to improve. And that is going to do it for the KU review of the Creighton game. Again, the final score, Kansas 73, Creighton 72. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and push that notification bell. Tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again for a KU basketball review of the Jayhawks and the Omaha Mavericks. Yeah, uh, that takes place Friday, and then the final football review will be against Texas. So until then, have a good day, and as always, never ever bring exotic dancers to the fieldhouse. Peace. Also, forgot to mention this, but K-State got beat by Fort Hayes State today. Oh my gosh, man. And they got thumped, too. Just, oh my god. I, I, Bruce Weber needs to be fired. See ya!